all right so thank you very much and uh, welcome back to my channel this is inside ghana my name is monica just as you know uh we're moving around the place to have an interaction with people who matter in our society more so in cape coast and uh, today i'm privileged to have uh one of the finest mcs one of the finest on-air personalities a finest teacher in the region cape coast his name is raza swaggy by course himself i mean his claim to fame is the classic man so let me just engage him and then dig down into his life and see how far he has come the journey so far and then his aspirations chairman mm. okay so um this is raza swaggy um he you're fancy right yeah sure definitely okay so the name raza swaggy all right so um well raza is an arabic indian okay. name so um well i'm a muslim by religion although i'm fancy by tribe it's all started like the family has been in have been fancy since my grandparents my mom's side from saltzman and then um uh, mori uh, i mean Anubabu. okay my dad from um asibu kofo and then uh Dukwa kofo -Dia. so full fancy okay. but my grandfather uh, both of them from were converted around just the same time my mother's father, for instance, was a Catholic, uh, a server even at church, and was converted to Islam by preachers and all that. And it followed to you. So my dad even became an imam, and then he chose the name Raza, which is uh, Muslim, but it has an Ara Indian Arabic roots for me. So yes, Raza has been the name. So what, what does it mean? So, okay, so the roots from uh, Arabic means contentment to, contentment. yes, somebody who's content, whatever the situation is, I'm calm, cool, I'm content with what I have and all that. But in the Indian roots, it is favor or uh, handsome. So the combination from you, so okay. depending on the day, I choose which definition I, I want. It. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and, and the swaggy. swaggy. So the swaggy, I had this uh, engagement uh, we had uh, it's a summer program where we used to do with some um, students who come around for summer programs and suddenly i don't know everything i did like this boy with swag you should come there's even tell like you should come to america and come and teach some boys mm -hmm. swag because mm -hmm. the kind of swag they think they're doing like this is an origin of swag like really so everything i do like wow that's the rather swag rather swag <laughs> they kept so it became a thing somebody does something mm -hmm. That's a rather swag. Wow. So that came stuff, and I like at that time so I have left Facebook. I have stopped using Facebook. And they were like, nah, that's the only way they can easily communicate with us if they go back. So I should create Facebook, and I should use that name. Mm -hmm. and I'm like swag is so, mm -hmm. so. Let me make it rather swaggy instead of the swag. So instead of from rather swag to rather swaggy on Facebook, and then it became the thing, okay. and I started using it. Okay. okay. Uh, so I just got in the. Hi, Cape Coast. Hi, Ghana. My name is Raza Swaggy. Uh, welcome to Coastal TV. This is Coastal Vibes, a uh, one-hour entertainment show. Uh, I, I forgot the time. I mentioned the time from down to this time, and I'll be sitting in for your regular host. Ah, I didn't able to my able to my young girl live. Come right, like, ah. It was Sean Michael uh, nice. Knight. Yeah, yeah. He was the guy who put me on the spot like that. I don't know if he even remember me, but he put me on the spot like that, and that was it. They gave me the show. After that try, they showed him. I didn't see. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear from the girl again. I don't know whether there was already issues behind the scenes. I didn't know that. But then the show became mine. And at a point, I uh, the support was some way. So I left. I, I heard there were issues at Coastal TV. Did you, did you have issues with management? Uh, the issues I had with management uh, wasn't exactly personal. It was, uh, one thing, well, there wasn't much uh, remuneration in the first place. But uh, yes, you are picking. Uh, I took it like I was learning, so I didn't mind that one. But where you get your guests, I started a show, Funky Friday, with a group of team that came from Nafti and then Maoli from Riniba. We started something together. And then when you gathered your guests and they're ready to come and shoot, sometimes uh, then there's a call above, you know, from the owner that oh, probably they are going to visit somebody or they want them to, the cameraman to. Probably not even use the camera, but they've sent him with a car to go and pick or do some errands for them. And so my guests are then they have to go and come another day. So it was becoming destructive. So that was my problem. It wasn't personal bit. But when we needed to have productive hours, mm -hmm. some of them turned into other like other things that needed to be done. I've showed to them, 
uh, it was also important, but explanation didn't get down to me. That was my problem. At least, oh, let me know. Uh, as I know, show no be a bit in a day in TV, in two in Tetranian Twitter. So I can tell my people, but I don't get a get there. So cameraman in your and a camera on the Koha and now we have a day and I'll be that was my little challenge. It, it became talk of town. Did you shut the door at them that uh, you're leaving, or it was a mutual understanding that me, me and you? Uh, I had because to at the time the show was picking up. Yes, it was picking up. I mean, up. everywhere you go, people are watching yes. Funky Friday. Yes. So all of a sudden, when you were showing episodes of past oh, okay. recordings, uh, did you shut the door? Almost like that, because the other one it was getting more difficult because the Nafti guys have left back to school. It was I think it was just Maoli left in Cape Coast holding the show down, and him alone it was difficult. He was the cameraman, he was the editor, he was the lights man, he was the sound man, he was basically everything. And the time I get there, the equipment also not available. The boy was struggling to make it happen. And my co-host as well, I think he was also traveling. She, uh, she was also traveling at that time, she was going to Accra or something. And to become too stressed, so I told them, Charlie, we, we can't do this again. Did you do the same at KPFM? Do the same as in... Shut the door at KPFM? No, I didn't shut the door. KPFM became... Uh, well, it was after Costa TV that I was introduced to KPFM. I remember that was where I met a big coach at the front desk. The day first day I was there, I was to do an interview with the Nama, the, the Nama you know, yeah, KPFM. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. auntie. Yes, it was actually supposed to be T Flow's interview because he was my cousin. I was going with him. I took advantage to go there because I've heard some voices and I was thinking about radio then, so mm-hmm. I wanted to try that. So I got there first, and I'm big, yeah, hey, Raza, yeah, tell her they had to watch your show for Costa TV, trying to do force, that kind of vibe. Like, oh, wow. So, like, <laughs> the people I'm coming to see actually know me already. Sure. So, like, that that felt good. And because he was a um, <coughs> sports host sports, then. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately for that day, his people didn't come for the sports show. They were late. And so I did the show with, uh, no, I think that was the second day. I've already done the interview with T Flo, but I came back when the Nama said he was doing a weekend show, entertainment show. So he liked my voice, although I wasn't on the show. Uh, he's never so he wanted me to come back to be on her entertainment review show on Saturdays. So it was that one that I had just come in for that, and Abiku met me. So it was after that show that Abiku came to the spot. But when we finished, and I was about leaving, Abiku came to rush down to me, Charlie. My sports boys were not coming, you know, so I beg. Do you, I, I, you said you're a Manchester supporter, but I say yeah. So like at least you know football small. So, well, yes, but not really on radio or stuff like that. Oh, Charlie, will be a mental young And that was how I started. I spoke and I realized that the producer came to open the door, looked at who was, went back later, right after he said he wanted to see me. To do, he wanted me to be a part of the team. So I should stay. At the time, who was the manager? It was Zoro. Zoro. Okay. It was Zoro then. And then this man I was talking about, he's, uh, I mean, the, the producer of the show, um, the head of sports then, he's, he's passed on now. Uh, blessed memory, yes, Kojo Thompson. He was the one who asked me to really stay and be with the team and I'll be cool. So yeah, that's how it started. So I started off, like you're saying, from sports actually. So uh, being a sports panelist to where I got to a point that I had to host it sometimes. The Yabeku also left off to ATL and then it was just, they brought in Michael Asari and he was, he was really like the main discovery. He, he felt more like I could do more. And so sometimes put me, he gave me the chance to host it as a sports you know, presenter, present the news and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people said no, the entertainment flair was still in it. I was doing the sports with the entertainment flair. You know, the angle, the energy, the ability was more like entertainment. Michael said that that could still even be another angle. So yes, he pushed me on to do it. Till it got to a point where the drive time, and we had new management in, in, in town. Jimmy Kutin okay. came to town. And Jimmy Kutin came to town, brought a lot of faces and all that. And then a man called Maniki was also brought on. And so Mike King came, <laughs> came to Cape FM in that sense and uh, was, was doing the overdrive. But at a point, for some reason, had to come on to the drive. Uh, I'm saying, I'm talking about Mike King because it leads to something else. So Mike King, <laughs> so Mike King, for some reason, had to come to the drive. <laughs> and then so Mike King on the drive, you know, tried partners, pairing and all that. Tried a girl, I remember, hanging up, hanging uh, up, yes. Was on it for you a bit. To I thought it's been a while. Okay. Just bear the time because she's a main one. As once okay. we know how we check out and all, but it's been a while. <coughs> so, it was that I think when the girl like, ah, but you were doing entertainment in, on, on, on TV. So that means you can do it, Charlie. Today, Mo could mo, mo try something. And then, so, okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, although I was still doing the sports, I, I joined money on the drive time. And bam, people were like, 
no, this was the partnership the, the, the team was looking for. So that should be it. It should stay like that and started. And that's where the drive time also started. But I was still just being the co-host and then doing the sport till Manikei decided to leave to ATL. Okay. So the room was just left. But even there, there was a new management to the Again. Again, new Keep management. Perfect. Yes, at that time Three that times was under your yes, watch. Wow. That was yes. Yeah, so I, I saw all the changes. <laughs> <laughs> and so that one was uh done. Uncle Dan, Dan had then now like taken over. Yeah. He wasn't exactly a fan of me because they felt I was in line with the old management. Oh, really? That was Jimmy Kutin. And I felt I was in no line with nobody. I was just working but, but with who Were you in line with, with the old management? I let's, wasn't exactly let's, let's, in let's bed with it. Although I liked the fact that he had more um, urban feel to his radio. And I felt I was born for urban bit. Uh, Uncle Dan, in this sense, was being i don't know whether people were just putting these or something like they let's do more local stuff so you know from xy picking uh, what did xyz were picking adam fm no before then xyz to ct back to adam uh-huh then we have come to adam yeah. it was he brought the adam bed back and everything you know, so a lot of local people started springing up sports michael left because he couldn't handle other issues that we have with them was gone. was already gone then they brought like trees picking you know people to so do that's the so started. yeah so it was going on like that so they felt that there were some um issues with people who support the old management and new management so a lot of people were sacked a lot of people that time were sacked i was the one they didn't see me well either or oh, 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 even me i thought they would have kicked me out they tried to the drive time <laughs> they tried three different people or two in one week Will be a Monday one fast. Response will be a good Tuesday one fast. Still, they brought somebody, and somebody that was brought earlier on to probably understand me and the number or so was even chosen ahead of me to start the drive time and for them to see. Mm. Who is that person? <laughs> uh, what's the name again? <laughs> maybe, it, maybe, baby. No, 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 no. He never started. He for him, I was already there before he came. I was already doing the drive time for somebody else. The name isn't coming. I know he's an absolute. So he got on there. It also didn't work. Now they were out of options. So now they called me. Uh, so they've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I was supposed to come to Thursday and let them see. So they tried it. They were like, okay. Okay. I will better try Friday. Sure. But for the fact that I was the only one who have done it. And for the two, the first two guys who did it, they are big names. Honestly, I wouldn't want to mention their names for any reason. Or for some reason. Are they in Cape Coast? They are in Cape Coast. They've even, some, I think one of managed uh he has managed radio station before or, or close to that or something and i think it was the fact that they i think they've come to i love the whole english vibe and see those ones were used to either different shows they were not exactly drive time shows but they were forcing them to so it didn't work and see uh but one was but next time also not already with Trump current i think they didn't like it so when i did it i was like of if these people were were tried and they weren't given a second chance, that might tell was gonna try Friday yeah. viewer. That means there's something working. And that was the first time I was really hosting the drive drive. I was usually the, your co-host in that sense. So then I then uh, Friday was also done. I was in school Monday. I was from the Ababia uh, for the drive. I miss you. Okay, that's fine. And then it continued. And so then it was a while well, for a month, but my, all my time in KPFM, I was receiving nothing, no as zero percent You're not paid from anybody, no. Even so the drive time, no, I wasn't. Wow. No, I wasn't. Even at the Jimmy, it was still Michael. It was once in a while in a month. I was seen as just one of the panelists, more or less. Although I was once in a while, do they? I wasn't paid. So uh, once, so you stayed there for how many years? From twenty uh, thirteen or fourteen till twenty seventeen. So years. for four years. So it was until I took over the drive proper when they said, okay, now I'll do the drive. And I went straight to um, Uncle Dan. I was like, okay, so this is it. I've been sacrificing for KPF. I wanted to learn. I think I've paid my dues already three years or two years without anything. Now I'm on the drive, doing the drive time. I think we, it's time we talked about something. It's like, oh, yes, it's true. It's true. Now, why didn't why you put them boost me? Because I'm surprised no matter what, but that's fine. It's official letter, but by now I am so okay. That's fine. So that is where it was the drive time where the salary or something started coming, more like an allowance or something. Uh, but like you already know, I was still teaching us at the Saddle College yeah. then. So after school, then I rushed there, they are going to do the drive and all, and then and, and that. And then I wasn't going back on sports because there was the three speaking sports guys who were already on, so they didn't really need me much. So it got to a point where 
some workers were complaining their salaries weren't coming mine was a little different and i didn't really depend on that because even before i got i was paid uh my some of my DJs will uh, tell you uh, um Oh, okay. DJ bands. I was trying to get it, but at least bands. Abortion. Is, let me abortion. Yeah. If I could be DJ bands, at least could testify. Because even then, uh, although they were picked by them, I wasn't working there because I was with the Tarkali Saturday. I go and mostly Fridays, I, I, I get food for all of us. At that time, I was trying to. So I didn't really care about that money bit. But a lot of them were started complaining, agitating. I was called. I remember Dennis Gameplay talked to me about the fact that the salary wasn't coming at the end and it's no good. So I felt like if. Mubu when you go down today because I have some you know that means I feel like I'm not part of them yeah. and even aside that I was also I had already bought them like four adverts or three adverts that was paying so at the end of the day I bring that money at the end of the month and so when I get there and I tell Akadan Skanabu what's salary not me into what's up now I can put you the okay I'll never see I didn't know why in thousand fat away and see I was I don't know whether I was treated a little different or not. See, that maybe I could that got a little shot when I joined the people to to protest. Because when I bring in the but still it was my business I so brought. That was understanding that you were being empathetic. Exactly. But I can't yes, I couldn't stand alone. Everybody else says the salary had delayed like three, four, five months. And Charlie, that's all they, they depended on. And because I was the I think I was the only one working outside aside them. Most of them were doing that full time. And so if this was happening and they were agitated, I couldn't look on like on Patep. Because some of them were my co hosts, some of them were my DJ, some of them like I work with them. So if they weren't happy and I'm the only happy person, how does it work? You need all of these people as well to make the show nice. You are not just the only person that holds down the show. So as you were not sacked. No. So what happened was that now we 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 did a protest. Okay. So we all marched down from the station, we locked down the station and walked to the man um, the owners, their hotel. Like we can't bear it any longer. Things were going wrong. We didn't have the right administration because the the, the manager then was the accountant, was everything. He takes money and then there's best money. How can they be accountants? Like, you know, I mean uh, transparency in this one. Because he does it, so he can choose not to record some or not yeah. that. And we see that we bring business in. It should be enough to pay us sometimes, but we don't see it. And we, so we, we felt that was a problem. And unfortunately, with the manager, then that he has, he honest, and I would I have to admit, and I'm sure he knows it, he has um, issues with management. I mean, human relations. So, oh, Charlie, when you have a terrible kind of man, no, be ye in and no, be 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 ye. But you go to him, but if you feel like it can throw you off at meetings, we can write a hand, we can use or yeah, but I will even more papa me or talk right down home, make more papa more. That was happening. Stuff like that. That was sad. It was unfortunate. So I was I was pissed off with his his reaction to the question. At least passes some kind of papa be catching on, and that at least I could also be so so good change on you. But he tell them this, and it felt bad. And I wouldn't be like, I'm a settler, I should be, no. So we all marched down that this is the situation. Every single person, we all moved. But then we realized that I think the, the owners had a very serious, good relationship with Uncle Dan. So we, look, we noticed the reaction that we were getting like, this thing wouldn't mm. be successful. So immediately, some of them or some of us started pulling back. And some of them rather turned around and started calling a canon. And they in Kofobi. One of them you've heard my whole version. Wow. Well, I know one of them. Oh, definitely. You know him, man. He's, he's, oh, him. He's, he's in poor position, but let's forget about it. <laughs> so, so, more or less, we are backstabbed in that sense. But I still decided to stick with them, unfortunately, and all that. But they, so what happened was that, okay, they said they wanted to do a restructuring. So, everybody should apply again. And with the application, they'll give you the do's and don'ts. I think they wanted to avoid you locking the station or what. So they wanted to put that in the rules that if you sign, you can't do that again. Okay. So everybody should apply again. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. But then I was going on a trip. I was about start. I think my master had just started. I was about, yeah, it's, was it wasn't about started or has already started. I think it was, I was about, I have applied, I've started. I was, I've already gone for the result. I was really supposed to now start going for lectures for my master's. So that was one. I was about getting married too, that was two. And then that moment, I think the time period they gave, I was, I was planning on going on a trip in the northern, all the three northern regions uh, with the group that I was supposed to go. 
So I left Charlie when Mr. Morocco, my bam will be say Chibi, I'll come and continue. So I I left for the trip, I came back and then they were like uh, I came to what's supposed to the deadline was up and then the people who did apply they didn't get number so okay. So am I out or am I with they were, they were some, who who asked that? I think we had a group. Somebody was asking, so I was, was they going back? They said, well, they wrote actually a letter in my name because I wasn't there. They, they, they did write a letter for all of the people who were in back and still supporting the movement and then added the names of it. But they said that I didn't go to your letters, so okay, he enforced it. He said, No, what the cohort, so I didn't know. It's our one to the Oh, really? That's fine. Uh, I was already had to concentrate on my master's. Teaching that, can you imagine? I was teaching at the school, going to do my master's, do drive time at the same time. That was even going to be a struggle. Yeah. So I just moved on to uh, UCC. But after just four months or so, I missed radio. Like, nah. Luckily, ATL was right there. And then I moved on to ATL. Okay, okay. So you were not sacked from KPF? No, this was a reapply if you wanted to. And you, and you give a deadline to, exactly, to the and that was on the trip. Okay, and so I didn't get so to the, the news out there that Raza was sacked at KFM. <laughs> you know, it's not true. The man says he wasn't sacked, and I wouldn't mind even getting sacked because I was fighting for. Because you no, know, as if if I was sacked for on air like massa on air, mm, but you know, yeah, yeah, sack now. that would be what I would be, I would be yeah. like shy of. But it was because I was fighting for my rights. Even if I was sacked, that would be, I don't mind because I was fighting for my rights. You miss Mandela KFM? was in prison for fighting for his rights. So, like, it's you good. miss KFM? Oh, it's a place I do miss, honestly. I wouldn't lie about that. Because it was a place I was discovered. It was a place I was given the freedom to try things. Would, would you love to go back? No, they've come to me several times. <laughs> they've come to me at least twice. Uh, the, the new manager, even the owner as well, have met with him on several times to go back. Uh, I had a lot of conditions if I had to go back. Because, Charlie, I can't get back to the old things that were there. I need to make sure things were done right. It didn't look like they were ready on that point. So yes, uh, for now where I am, dear, no. Were you a flash in the pan at ATLFM? Flash in the pan? Uh, I hosted a drive for almost two years. I did love reasons for four years. Wow, so six I, years. Exactly. No, no, it was concurrently. Okay. It was concurrently. So you were doing the drive from, at the time? Yes. From drive from KPFM to ATLFM? Yes. Okay. And then on the ATLF, you know, started with the usual, but started from the morning show, did a bit of mid-morning, settled on the drive. And then Dennis Gameplay was doing the, I think he was the one doing the love reasons, but he left. Mm -hmm. And so I took over the love reasons as well, because I love to talk about stuff like that. So I did the drive and that one till, so I think from 2018, midway, when did you leave? You're asking me. <laughs> when he left was when I took over. I think it was July, <laughs> June, July 2018. Yeah, yeah June, 2019. 2019. Yeah. And so I took over then till I think another June 2020 when um, Corona actually came through. So that was it. So yes, it was past the year even on the drive as well. And then I did uh, from 2018 till 20, I left last year, 2022 June was on, on, on love reasons okay. for that long. So at least four years on love reasons wow. and then over a, a, at least a year and on, 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 on half on the drive as well. We, we're wrapping up. Um, so you left ATLFM. Are you still in contact with, 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 with the people there? Are you cool with them? Yeah, I'm cool with them. I'm um, Alaji Ibrahim, um, Danny Brew. I still talk to him. Uh, once in a while. There are times he even called me to do something for him or that and that that and and that and the presenter the, the presenters them as well uh them as well um i was cool them i think i might have left as well yeah yes i'm a, yourself i'll be cool we link up once in a while when they need be and and stuff like that so and uh eric himself pdf as well PDF, PDF calls me his uh, father and sometimes he says spiritual father like spiritual father <laughs> spiritual world in the Korean but yes it does it so yes I I, I, I still were you pushed from ATLFM by assassin yes I, I, I was I was pushed how much oh in that sense okay so uh, it was all, it was all over that um, Asase FM had gotten into the camp of ATLFM and they are sweeping they are sweeping people at the point ahead. Yeah, your name, name Ames name, 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 uh, even Barrister's name, Barrister's and all name that. your name. But okay, it, it was obvious that you you were going. Were you? Honestly, I still even know wasn't sure. Even as I then, I still wasn't sure. 
it was it was surprising that it became so loud but i have been talking to twice uh, first it was who was supposed to be the manager back then he had talked to me and welcome and it was already introducing me to people as this the guy who be doing the drive but i was still at 18 and i said until i have signed contract i won't say anything and then a while ago I realized that no he wouldn't be the manager and that it was Kutin. and then i noticed that Kutin was also doing his picking and stuff around and no and so i wasn't it was when Kutin took over was when i wasn't sure because with as a, as with Otuja, not like I said, I had some certainty. Because it was even even when their crap people came, I think it was even the manager, uh, the general manager came. He said this would be the guy who would do the drive. So that, but even that, I feel that lip service could always be lip service. Yeah. So until I signed any contracts, I haven't really st- uh, been with anybody. So when Jimmy took over there, I like, oh Charlie, I didn't know about that. I wasn't sure about what happened, but he had already congratulated me back then when uh, Otujano was it, and had talked about how he also admired me that he regret the fact that he didn't acknowledge me or realize or uh, discover me better when he was at KPFM. But it was when I went to ATL that he listened to me and realized, no, I was uh, some sort of a, uh, an asset he could have used more. So I thought, okay, somebody who have said that already congratulated me with uh, Otujano's uh, reign, then if he's taking over, then probably he may consider me or something but, but i was still wasn't sure because he also done radio he has a lot of people who has worked under him so i didn't know who would be coming or who would be going so i remember i had to go to they once they called me like hey, i want to work with you uh and so get ready to join assassin do you like the I, said, oh, I like the brand the fact that it has a national appeal is one thing i liked and why not i definitely would want to so they were talking about the ties i had with atl and all that and then we were, we were working on that I said okay but the, the they will be launching the station very soon so i should be on standby but the lunch day came and i wasn't exactly invited like invited but the news already out there that i was with us i said like even the lunch i wasn't invited so how would people say so i was in the studio i remember the day of lunch and i came yeah, to it yeah, like, yeah. i was in the studio i didn't know what was happening but i knew you were i knew you were leaving wow yeah. i didn't know <laughs> so if <laughs> So at least at least a week after that or swell again or three days no three days after then again the manager called me again it's like oh I so you'll be working with us so yes I'm giving a short I was like ah, so what problem because I already heard Candyman and I know Candyman has only been doing drive time is what Candyman is known for yeah I was coming to that I I heard that uh, it, it, there was a bit of confusion between choosing you and Candy for for, for the drive because word out there was Candyman taking over the drive and then you'll be doing the late. Um, the late night shows. So what what happened? I didn't know. Like nobody opened up to me. But what what uh, Jimmy actually mentioned at that point was that oh don't worry, arrangement has been made, and then we, you guys all will be running with me. And I was like ah, so do I would I be doing the drive or not? Also don't worry about that. We we will let you know when when things are settled. So I didn't know that until I like okay. So that day he gave me a lot of assurance that I will be joining them, and even asked me to even go and do what what I said shoot. Uh, I think it was an interview with Candy or something. Like, okay, if it's getting down with then let me go to ATL. I went there to talk to Barrister. I told Barrister that, uh, Barrister, uh, this is what I'm hearing. And I've been told this. But I haven't signed any contracts. I'm not with anybody. But th- it looks like something is coming. And uh, if it is coming, I like what is coming. So if it comes, I would like to leave. But I have no sentence here. But I just want you to be aware. Because you're part of the reason why I go here. So I just want you to be aware of that. So in case it happens, then uh, you are aware. Also, oh, really? Okay. The Mikasa won my cat. So I know. He started mentioning this boy, this person will be doing the morning show. This one will come and make money. So you will come on the drive. Candy man will come like, ah. I said, I don't even know what I will do when I go. And you know that. I said, yes, I knew that. I'm like, wow. Where really does like travel? I remember woman me. But everybody knew that I was going to do the drive and I didn't know about that. So he said that I was really. So I went back. If he knows that maybe there's something more to it, then uh, I didn't know. So two days even after I told them, they were like, okay, go and record a jingle for the drive time. Oh, Tujano came to tell me, like, hey, you made a jingle for Then I said, man, me am sure I made it. Oh, ah, you are doing the drive. What, what do you mean by you don't know what you're doing? Man, catch the bear drive, that other one. Then I said, okay. Then we went on there to do the jingle, and then he did it um, for the drive, and then Candy did the late afternoon, because I still didn't know. So there was no so friction that, between you and Candy? Oh no! Okay. Oh no! Candy comes on my show sometimes. I go on his show sometimes. We run around it. I don't know. Me, you it. But honestly, I wouldn't mind. Actually, honestly, as of now, eh, I think I would even love the overdrive. Mm. I promise. I'm, I'm not saying this for a joke. Okay. I wouldn't mind. 
uh, I'm sure it is just the brand of Assassin that probably ensures that I stay at, at the drive you time. You would love to go to the late night. For now, because of, you know, for flexibility and the time as well. Now, like, you know, I go to, for, you know, already, you know, from school, I have to rush down. I'm trying to manage it. It's, it's something I'm used to know. But, of course, if I close from school and I can get to sleep for some hours and wake up at 6 and go, to, and go and start a show from 7 to 10, that would be a little more relaxing and it's like nine it would not affect a lot of things it would be a bit more relaxing for me so i wouldn't mind doing an overdrive honestly i wouldn't mind okay but of course the drive is there we, we are wrapping thing. up um is it paying well is radio paying it is uh, of course as i see it's paying well it's 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 the most paid i've ever joined so far so yes it is paying well than uh, the others so after after sassy where, where to Back to each elephant, or you going to Kumasi or Accra, Takra? Uh, yeah, after Sassi, I don't know whether, it would be, okay, well, I don't know, I don't know the future, but I was thinking probably if after Sassi Kipus, maybe Sassi Accra or Sassi Kumasi, okay. or Sassi somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it will be Sassi. That's what I'm hoping for, but of course, you don't know the future, you don't know what lies there, but that is what I am hoping for. Okay. Any thank yous to people who have been helpful to you on your journey, and then we, we wrap it all up. Yeah, the journey. I'd like to say uh, thank you, Bright, uh, Coastal TV. I think he's still with them. He's, he's crazy. He was the one who asked me to come around, and then I came around and it worked. So that's how my media journey started. So, and in Chroma Hall, you, I mean, UCC yeah, Chroma Hall, yeah. that's where it all started with the MC in bits, and that's where the radio bit started. So in Chroma Hall, uh, to Bright at Coastal TV, I'd like to also give another one to Nanama, you know the one Auntie. that uh, uh who held me down to thompson Kojo thompson who have passed away a big cool as well for holding me down michael asari Buedu, one other Sumpa, major Sumpa. solid guy sompa uh, fm and tv solid guy holding me down maniki as well introducing me to the drive time uh and then barrister daniel atl fm uh to manage uh, uh Elijah Bahim Adam, all the others who held me down at atl fm for for all the good works that they've done supporting me uh, one way or the other. Uh, it's been great. And now, of course, uh, Jimmy Kutin for uh, realizing that he didn't see something that he was supposed to see at Cape FM, saw it at ATL, and then kept uh, being truthful to that, to his words as well, and adding me to his team at, at um, Assassin Radio and all the guys at Assassin Radio supporting. I love the love that we are showing there. Like, anybody can be on anybody's show on, in Assassin Radio. It's, it's, um, it's amazing. And all those guys, I'd like to say thank you to all of them. Thank you uh, for to this holding guy. To Jando especially. To so this guy, Charlie, this, this is where it all started. <laughs> this, this, this guy made it happen. You know, back then when I looked like this, I was a model. Yeah, swag, so, swag. Yeah, that's where the swag started. So... You know, yeah. I, I was when I started emceeing. This was me. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, married. Yeah. Yes, I'm married. 2017, December actually. Kids. So, two of them. Okay. Yeah. Any beautiful more? kids. Uh, I will probably do one more. Girlfriends. Uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Hey. Yes. You don't have female friends. I have. Uh, for a definition, girlfriend in dictionary that I've seen means something else. Okay. So female the, the friends. Ghanian, the Ghanaian female friends. Yeah. Let me air. Thank you very much for um, coming on the show. It's always a pleasure having yeah. you. Just yeah, that I missed the times that we, we used to share. Charlie, you know, Charlie. Maybe I'm, I, we, let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so, folks, that has been uh, the man, the classic man. This is him. Uh, we're back here. Nobody's your shit. And the white guy. Thank you. We'll see you in our next video. This is Inside Ghana. My name is Monique. We're out.